Hello everybody, this is uh, Derek with High Five Resale Shop. Uh, we're back uh, in the office today. It is um, September 25th, uh, it's a Monday. Um, we had a really uh, interesting weekend of sales and I wanted to show you what sold over the weekend and uh, we will look at the items so that um, you can use it as research for when you go out uh, to garage sales to find things. And um, so this weekend, we had 13 sales, which isn't a terrible amount. It's a lot of times, it's like 20 uh, to 30 items. Um, but we did do a little over $400 in sales over the weekend. And uh, let's get into it. So the first item that we have for, that sold is this cookbook. I love cookbooks, um, these spiral ones. You can pick them up for like 25 cents a piece. You don't have to research them while you're out and about. Um, and you usually, if you get a stack of them, you'll get one that's like 20 or $30. This particular one was $11 plus shipping on top. So not bad. Um, I'm sure I bought that for 25 cents or a whole group of them for a buck or something like that. The next item is uh, a pair of pants. Um, right before the estate sale happened, I put up a bunch of pants. And um, this is one of those pants that sold. Uh, this bright blue Massimo size 17 skinny pant. That sold for $10 plus shipping. Um, the next item is something I've had for a long time. Sorry about that. I'll move the camera back here. And um, so this um, group of shirts like this I bought at a garage sale. Um, so if you don't know retail like clothing experience, this kind of a bag is what it comes in when it gets to the store so there's probably 20 shirts per box all folded like this in in a box and then they take them out they're already on hangers they just put them on the hooks and they take these bags off well this says to me that this the box a target never got unpacked or they put these in the store and they immediately regretted putting them in the store so um, I should have thought of this when I was buying this item um, so this was probably part of somebody's pallet sale um, when I really think about it and so they got all the same size I was super excited about it so I bought all the same size one listing, five minutes, you got 20 items up, but they don't sell because they're trash. So um, remember that um, I try not to go to these bin stores and or shop from people's garage sales that have obviously have pallet sale items there. Because um, something like this, um, it's not going to be helpful to you as a, as a reseller. Um, it's going to sit there forever and it's not going to make you any money. I've actually thought about taking these down and donating them. They're so, they don't sell it well at all. This item sold for $3. It looks like I have four still available. Um, and I'll show you why that this item was a bad seller for Target because it's a, it's a Target brand shirt. Um, so this neck goes up to about here. And and people have commented when they bought it that it's a little on the short side. So um, I don't think they measured this correctly when they purchased it to you know get it made and put in the store. The color is okay. And... 
you know, the design aesthetic is okay. I just don't think people like something up on their neck like that. Um, so this is a, not a really good seller. So I sold this for $3 plus shipping. Um, I'm sure I gave that person an offer so that they would be enticed to buy that. Um, so that's that. The next item is a Christmas ornament. So this is the last in the um, glass blown ornaments that I got like these. Um, I think I have like this and then a, this megaphone and then a pendant that both said Old Miss on it. Um, I think I had about eight or nine of them. I've sold through them all. Uh, I think I picked them up for um, probably around uh, $2 a piece. And I sold them for anywhere from $11, which is what this sold for, to about $15. So, um, so this sold for $11 plus shipping. The next item is a Boyd's Bear. Um, this is from our um, consignment sale. This is Scrooge McBear, Change of Heart. So it looks like that guy there. Um, and he sold for $12 plus shipping. Um, the next item is a CD, Best of David Lee Roth. Um, the CD, this sold for $8.08. Um, the next item is this Mikimoto clock. Uh, I think it was given to somebody maybe as a retirement gift or something. But it's this little desk clock. Um, apparently, Mickey Moto is a very fancy clockmaker. And then it's got this Japanese Airlines uh, logo on the back. So uh, somebody worked for Jap Japan Airlines. And uh, they gave him this clock as a gift. It came in this box. Um, I got that from a clean out. A long time ago and I don't know probably put it up recently within the last six months and it sold that sold for $30 plus shipping okay the next the next item is the big seller of the weekend even though $30 is nice so I started putting up some some clothes uh, mostly bags and shoes from the estate um, that we did for the estate sale and I'm doing the ladies closet now for the family and this is the first item that sold so this Brahmin bag uh, red leather um, with the tan interior and it's got all kinds of pockets inside it's got dual handles um, this bag Sold for $130 plus shipping. So that was the big one. The next item was a book. I picked this book up with a bunch of other books for maybe two bucks. Um, this book is historic uh, six homes in um, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, dated 1967 so it's an older vintage book and it's got some pictures from some old famous houses in st. Louis this sold for eight dollars plus shipping the next item is a short sleeve knit pullover top it's like a cable knit um, medium gap black shirt uh, that sold for eight dollars plus shipping uh, the next one was a fairly large 
um, pickup. So uh, can't see it. It's a Yadro in a in a box. I've already got it boxed up. I boxed it up when I um, created it. But I'll show you a picture of, of of what's going on. So we'll go over here to the computer, and this young lady sold. Um, Yadros are good to pick up if you can get them for the right price. We will still collect them. And that sold for $45 plus shipping. Um, not mistaken, I think I paid $17 for that. Um, I thought I was going to get $75 for it. But um, after sitting on it for like five or six months, uh, I'm happy to get $45 and just um, turn it around. Um, so that's already boxed up and ready to go. So that's helpful. The next item is this orange blazer. Um, it's from Casper. It's a size 18. Um, and it sold for $19 this time. That blazer sold before and it got returned because I put the wrong size in the listing. So hopefully it stays, hopefully it stays out of here this time. And the last item that sold, oh, this is a big one. This one, this audio book, um, Step on a Crack by James Patterson, sold for $1.98 plus shipping. Uh, so that's it for everything that sold. That's 13 items this weekend that sold. Um, uh, let me go to this report that I pulled up. It is called the Listing Quality Report. So if you go, let me see if I can remember how to get there. You go to Performance. In your seller hub you go to performance and then on the first screen on the summary screen there's this um, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see this let's see here so right here this little this little download listings quality report so I did that on a recommendation from another youtuber and let me pull that report up right now. And I just thought it was so much fun to look at this um, and see what it said. It is an Excel, uh, Excel report, so it takes a second to pull up from Excel. And it also takes a few minutes for it to generate, so uh, it's not like something you can do on the fly. Um, you have to have it prepared. So it's opening up the Excel sheet and so what it does is it tells you your rank um, of the things that you're selling most of, you know. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so um, it says books and magazines slash audiobooks with a listing condition of new. My rank uh, value is 169 I'm the 169th seller out of 55,187 sellers in this category and condition that's pretty cool um, I never think that I, I'm number one or anywhere near the close to the top of anything on eBay so for them to tell me like I'm 169 out of 55,000 that's pretty cool um, it also says here that uh, women's tops listing condition new, uh, used. Uh, I am 1,094 out of 224,000 sellers. Um, music CDs used. Uh, I am 1,089 out of 106,000 sellers. Um, books new. I am 627 out of 106,000 sellers. Uh, books used. I am uh, 
1,763 out of 469,000 sellers. Which is, actually it's pretty good. I mean, it's not as low a number as uh, 600 or 200 or whatever, but out of 429,000 sellers, that's a lot of people. Um, let's see, figurines and miniature, bear figurines and miniatures used. I am 60, I don't want to be 60, <laughs> out of 7,897 sellers. Um, I think that's, that might be a curse right there. I don't know. Um, women's clothing sweaters used 689 out of 148,000. Women's clothing dresses used 943 out of 191,000. Trading card signals. I don't have that many trading cards up. Just so you know this. I don't have a lot up. Maybe a, maybe a hundred or so. Trading card singles. Listing condition used. 5,032 out of 377,000. That kind of blows your mind. Um, women's clothing skirts used. 396 out of 103,000. Um... Coats and jackets used. It doesn't specify men's or women's. Probably women's. 940 out of 218. And I say that because I don't have but six or seven men's items up yet. That's my entire death pile. My entire death pile is men's stuff. I just don't get to it. I don't get to the men's stuff. I always just do the women's stuff first. Um... Women's clothing tops, new condition, uh, 1,728 out of 229,000. Um, and we'll go through just a few more, but um, let's see here. Um, audiobooks new, 282 out of 29,000. Um... So, yeah, I think that's about the most interesting thing. Dresses new, uh, women's dresses new, 836 out of 92,000. So, I thought that report is fascinating. Um, what does that do for you as a seller? What does that do for you? Um, I think it's good for motivating. Uh, for motivation, it's great. Uh, to motivate you, to keep you going, um, to get back in there and list some more stuff. Um, we have Christmas coming up soon, so I got to get into this office and I got to list stuff every day. Um, I don't think there's any way I get through this, you know, estate sale closet before that, but my, I have to try and I have to intermittently put in some effort in different categories um, so that my store doesn't just bog itself down on clothes so um, three or four days a week um, probably three come in here and do listings for clothes for that estate sale closet and then the other two days, I need to intermittently throw in some other things like video games that I picked up at garage sales and plush that I picked up at garage sales and just random, random other stuff that I've grabbed along the way. There is some other stuff from that estate sale that's not clothes related, so I can do that as well. Um, so... That is what is going on today. Um, I'm going to try and put some stuff up. I also have an appointment to meet somebody at um, like 11.45 or something to try and pick up a piece of furniture. And so that's all I got today. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, uh, make sure you like it. Thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm up to seven subscribers now. Woo! So uh, let's keep it going. Tell people um, that you know if you like what you see. And uh, we'll get more content out there. 
Thanks again. See you later.